Hey everyone, what's going on? You're watching On The Fence Movie Reviews and today uh, we're going to talk about Five Nights at Freddy's. So I just watched Five Nights at Freddy's and uh, I watched it at my house because it was a uh, day and day release. Uh, the day was released in the theater. Uh, it was also uh, released to stream on Peacock. So I'm going to do my best to not ruin it for you in case you decide to watch it. Or maybe you'll watch this and be like, yeah, I'm going to check that movie out. Or maybe I'm not going to check it out. Anyways, let's talk about Five, Night at, Five Nights at Freddy's. So full disclosure, I've not played the game or games or I don't know any. I'm not uh, knowledgeable to the lore of the video games. So this is just pure uh, my uh, opinions and review of the movie, solely the movie. Uh, other reviews I've saw and, and other people have talked uh, have talked about the movie. You know they uh, have you know there's Easter eggs and stuff like that. I didn't notice any of that stuff because again I'm not familiar with the video game itself so that, those easter eggs maybe if you're a fan of the the franchise um you'll notice some of those easter eggs but for me uh I did not I didn't know any of them so I could not notice them so this movie stars uh Josh Hutcherson as Mike and uh Piper Rubio as Abby they're a brother and sister and uh, the way the movie kind of starts off is uh, something traumatic happens uh, to Mike and, and his brother. And then, uh, you know, kind of fast forward uh, and Mike's a little bit down. He's going through kind of like this custody battle with uh, his aunt for his sister, Abby. And, uh, you know, the, just the weight of what has happened in the past is weighing on him now, which I thought this movie had a lot of heart, a, a little more heart than I was actually expecting. You know, when I saw that they were going to come out with Five Nights at Freddy's and it was kind of a, a spin on like a like Chuck E. Cheese, which was already terrifying. If you've ever been to Chuck E. Cheese, uh, it's pretty scary. And this is a like a horror version of Chuck E. Cheese, or at least <clears throat> in my opinion, that's what I thought I was getting into. And Mike is trying to uh, get jobs and, and do things to survive and to show the courts that he can take care of his sister and not let his sister go to uh, his aunt, who's not the most nicest aunt in the world. So that's kind of where we le where we go to where he's uh, working at uh, Freddy Fazbear's uh, Pizza, and uh, he's a security guard for this. You know, it's closed down, and he gets hired on, and um, things start to happen. And again, I don't want to spoil anything. But the things I did like about this movie, again, there was heart in this movie. Uh, the brother and sister dynamic, I thought uh, they get you, um, they get you hooked in with their relationship and how close they are. And you know, I, I again, I was, I, I don't really know what I was expecting in this movie. I was expecting kind of like a horror movie, but then you know, I know it's PG thirteen, so they can only do so much, and that's, I think they have to be creative in that aspect and I think they do a pretty decent job of being creative you know a lot of it is when there's a kill or when there's something scary going on they kind of avert what's happening like you'll uh see something going to happen to someone and then you don't see it ha you know it's happening you don't see it happening uh it kind of cuts away or if um like I remember this one scene where like someone was being murdered and, uh, you know, they don't show it, though, but they show the person's, I think, like, handprint on the wall. And so you know what's happening to them. So I think they do a creative job of, of not showing you the gore and not showing you the blood and, and the really scary things that would have made this movie rated R. There are a couple things that I just kind of little gripe. Some of them may be spoilers, so I'm not going to go uh, too deep into it, but... There are things that happen where I'm just kind of like feel very cartoonish. See, here's th and this is kind of the thing that throws me off a little bit. It's got so much heart and it's like very serious in that aspect of of like Mike is is trying to like get over these past issues and trying to you know work it out and he's doing these like 
these things were his dreaming and he's dreaming in the same dream and he's trying to figure out like what he could have done different almost like he's he's trying to change the past in his dream and they, they kind of dig deeper into that and also too there's a um supernatural element to it um you know the, the sister abby has um she's kind of gifted in a way and 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 you know they 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 let you know that throughout the movie you know they kind of ex not so much explain like oh she can do this but just like you can see throughout the entire movie that she just picks up on little things or subtle things and she she's gifted and and in certain ways is the best way I can and describe it. But also the ant is kind of like over the top, um, over the top, like mean. Uh, and, and it's just, I don't know. It, it, she seems a little cartoonish. There's certain characters in the movie seem a little cartoonish. I feel like this movie is, uh, a, it's different throughout different parts of the movie. It's, when you when they're when you have the brother and sister element, it's very emotional, and they're working out their issues, and and he's holding on to the past, and she's trying to like let him know like uh, she wants to stay with him, she doesn't want to go anywhere else, and he's trying to fight to keep her, and then it's serious there, and then it gets to the to to where they're in, you know, doing where he's doing security at Freddie Fazbear's, and and. It's almost fun and playful, and there's really like it, it doesn't feel like a scary movie or or anything like that. And I feel like maybe the beginning of this movie is a little kind of like creepy, and then when they're in in the restaurant, it's not as creepy. It's more fun, and then at the end, it just jumps back to being. Uh, a so so like scary movie or horror movie i think the ending is pretty good i like where they went i like the reveal that they have and and, and you know i think the the whole ending part the third act is pretty cool i just there are things that happen in the third act or characters that are brought up in the third act that it just didn't work for me the, like the the third act was good in some aspects but just like the story of how things the dominoes fell I was just like, hmm, okay, like, I'll go with it. And, and you know, there's, there's like, conversations and certain things that happen throughout the movie where I'm just like, is no one going to, like, be like, hey, uh, wh what's funny is there was, there was something happens in, in the, the pizza parlor and, you know, I think, like, someone gets hurt or someone dies or something or something like that. Like, something crazy happens. And the brother is like, you know, they, you know, they're just like, like gathering what's going on. And the, the brother, Mike, tells his sister, he's like, you know, I love you. And he's having this deep conversation. And this, you know, Abby's like, we should leave. Overall, I enjoyed the movie. I think, um, I, I was expecting going into it that it was going to be like a horror or thriller or, you know, just more like suspenseful like i was gonna see not so much gore but be a little bit afraid because there's giant robots that are murdering people so that it's kind of scary but i feel like along the line along uh, watching it i was like this feels more like a uh a long goosebumps episode but i even feel like goosebumps was a little scarier than this movie I'm not saying this movie's not good. I really did like this movie. I did enjoy it. The everyone in the movie um, plays a role pretty well. The standouts obviously are going to be uh, the brother and sister Mike and Abby. If you have Peacock, definitely check it out. Um, it's free. I mean, not really free, but you know, you're paying for the monthly subscription, so uh, you can watch it included in your subscription. So check it out. Um, going to the theater and watching this. I definitely think don't go on a Friday night. Um, try to go maybe like a Saturday morning or something, some kind of matinee. At, at, I mean, if I'm going to give it a rating, uh, I would say like maybe 7 out of 10, maybe 7.5. Again, I did like it. I thought it was pretty good. I think everyone does a, a decent job with the standouts being uh, Abby and Mike who carry the movie, who bring heart to the movie, who bring 
levity to the movie and just kind of like carry the movie along with their relationship and the things that they're going through and Mike dealing with the past and Abby trying to help him deal with the past and and bring him to the present and, and live in the now but Overall, I'm going to say get off the fence and check out Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Really appreciate it. If you have not subscribed to On the Fence Movie Reviews, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're, I mean, we, we say it all the time. We're going to try and bring you more content, but really, um, we want to get the channel growing again. Uh, we would love for people to subscribe and put out more content. Uh, you know, it's just, it, it's tough right now, especially for me, haunt season, uh, but it just ended, or it's almost the last weekend of it, so I'm gonna get on here and do more movie reviews for you guys, so just, uh, subscribe, like, leave comments, we love reading all, everyone's comments and what you guys think about the review, or what you guys think about the movie we reviewed, so go ahead and leave your comments below, um, follow us on Instagram at On The Fence Movie Reviews, uh, we'll, we'll post more stuff on there. So anyways, uh, like, subscribe, comment, and remember, we'll catch you on the fence.